Hello, and welcome to Week 4, Unit 2 of Application Development for SAP Business by Design. In this unit, we'll look at extending standard web services. Now, as we mentioned in the last unit, there are many web services that already exist for our standard objects. These web services are application to external or A2X services uh, that allow us to integrate external systems into SAP Business by Design with these specific standard objects. Now, we can always create new services on these objects, but ideally, if we can use the existing ones, that's even better. And if we have extensions to those objects, we actually have the ability to push our extension fields, uh, publish them to these standard web services. To do that, we're going to use something called a process extension scenario. Let's look at it in the studio. So I'm logged into the development studio here uh, with my development user. Uh, if I go ahead and say new item, I, I selected extension and I can see process extension scenario. I'm going to give it the name employee common. I'm going to go ahead and copy this name too because we're going to use it later. Now the employee is our business object, common is the actual node, and you'll see in this next screen why I do that. Uh, these scenarios are based off of a node of a particular business object. Now, I'm going to give it the namespace business partner and then employees, our business object, and we'll select the common node. And I get a big list here of a lot of different things. Um, the first half, these blue and white arrows, refer to actual business scenarios in the application. Now I see a lot because it's a business partner object and so it shows me all business partner content. So that's why we see a lot of account, uh, supplier, other things, but you can see there's employee replication request that's here, uh, personal details to the employee itself. Um, and what these do is these actually allow you to, if you have an extension field in one object, uh, to be able to select other scenarios and have it flow through the whole scenario itself. So you could go from account to a lead, to an opportunity, to a sales order, and have the extension field copied and the value copied throughout that whole scenario. We're more interested in the second half of it, which is a large list of interfaces. Now these are all the business partner interfaces that are in SAP Business by Design. Uh, the first few are usually um, our integrations to CRM or ERP, the standard integrations that are provided there. We can also extend those interfaces as well, uh, but we're more focused on the specific A2X interfaces, and those are these manage uh, business partner, manage account. Uh, you can even see the name that it's manage customer in, which direction it is inbound or outbound. Some of them will have some type of outbound direction, uh, like the query here where you're passing data back. Uh, so for us, let's go ahead and select, let's say, the Manage Business Partner General Information. Uh, we'll use this for now and say OK. And the next part is we'll need to add the scenario to our object. We've already used a couple annotations for our elements so far. We used the alternative key, uh, the label annotation here, for example. But we're going to need to use another annotation so that our field can actually make it to the web service and that's the scenario annotation. I'm going to say control space and have it pull up the scenario annotation here and I'm going to go ahead and paste that name in that I had before, the employee common name of my extension scenario before. Um, this will allow us to, when we put this in, uh, basically we're going to save and activate this and upon activating this it's going to go through to any of those scenarios we selected as well as any of the interfaces and copy our field or fields to those specific places. Uh, so now both of these web, these uh, extension fields should be available in that managed business partner web service. I could also create more scenarios if I wanted to, even for the same node. So if I wanted to have more than one scenario for the employee uh, common node, I could generate more and then I could even assign them to just some elements. I'm not required to have all of the extension fields of my object have some scenario and I'm not limited to just one scenario for one field, so I could put in more if I wanted to. Now I'm logged in with my administration user and I'm going to go to Application User Management and then Service Explorer. And let's find that web service. So I'm going to look for Business Partner and here's the Manage Business Partner in. Let's go ahead and download the WSDL file for that and we'll just call it Employee for easy of testing use here. And this file should appear shortly. Here we go. And if I open this with Notepad, 
Let's just do a quick search in this large uh, file for fixed bonus amount. And we can see it finds it down here. So here it is. We can see that our field actually made it. Here's the fixed bonus amount. Uh, our other one should also be in here as well. And so our fields were actually published to this, this web service. So all we'd have to do is just download the WSTL file after we've done the activation in the studio. And then it should uh, provide us what we need to be able to uh, have those fields as part of the integration. And then I could still give that WSTL file to another system uh, and do the integration just like I would normally. And that's how we can extend the standard web services. So all we have to do is uh, make sure we have extension fields on an object, and then we can use the uh, process extension scenario to define scenarios uh, for any node of the object that we've extended, and then add that scenario annotation to our fields. Once we do that and activate it, all we have to do is download the WSTL file again, and then we have an extended WSTL. So with that, that ends uh, this unit. In the next unit, we'll look at consuming external web services. Thank you.